So we're gonna go into an earthquake simulator. And he tripped, he cried, he bled. He's calmed down now. Where are we going tomorrow? You excited? Mm -hmm. Well, we came down to the California Science Center today. It's a children's museum we're going to explore, and there's a space shuttle here. I can't wait to show that to the kids. What is this? It's sparkly. That's a rock from the moon, a moon rock. You keep working. So this thing went to Saturn and orbited Saturn so we could learn more about that planet. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> now let go. Knocked it. Got a pretty good fountain going there, right? Yeah. What's cool. making that fountain? Hi, Laura. Hi, Laura. Try to balance it. Do you hear it? Mm -hmm. It's really good music. Okay, now switch pipes and listen to it. How does that happen? Make an earthquake, Caleb. So we're gonna go into an earthquake simulator. Caleb is feeling a little bit nervous quakes? about this. How do earthquakes break stuff? They shake it. How when they shake? How when they, when just they shake, shake it, it? It sometimes breaks. It knocks how? stuff over. How? The earth is actually moving beneath your feet. Oh, so the grass is moving. Yeah, the ground is moving. Yeah. You want to see what it's like? They're going to let you have a chance to. Feel you can it. see. They'll teach us all about it. Mm. Come in. What did you think of the earthquake? The first one was scary, and then the second one wasn't really. Because you knew it was coming? This is a Wright Brothers aircraft simulator. A toilet? Um, yeah. It is. It's a space toilet. Do you guess it could be fun to eat in space? Yeah. They're drinking juice. So this shows us what different places inside of the Endeavor look like. Here's the flight deck. So they have a really big aquarium here where you can actually come and touch the sea life animals. You want to touch the sea cucumber? Can you touch it like that? Okay, you can do it. Good job, Elise. Good job. <laughs> what did it feel like? Oh, Laura is touching the sea. Caleb told me he wants me to help him touch it because he's nervous. So we're gonna go together. Ready? You did it! You did it! Hey, do you wanna try touch a sea cucumber? It's a little soft and slimy. So that's the other side of the starfish. The sticky side. So some animals, like barnacles, can't move to catch their food. So they're stationary and they just have to move just their arms. So this is supposed to be like that. You making it snow? Oh my goodness. That's cool. Do it again.
great question. Yes, they do sometimes. Fish that look like baby sharks? What, what are they? Leopard sharks. Because they have spots like a leopard. How many kinds of fish are there? That's a great question. About 70 or 80 kinds of fish. The total number of fish. Good job. Oh, here comes Laura. High five. Go touch it. There you go. Good job. <laughs> so sad. It was the very last thing we were doing before we left. Caleb was standing on the bleachers and he tripped and he looked like he was going to save the fall and then he crashed and anyway he hit the corner of his chin on the edge of a wooden bleacher and it's just more than a scrape. It's a gash. It's pretty deep even though it's short so that's still bleeding and we're concerned about scarring. He's obviously completely fine. He cried. He bled. He's calmed down now. The first aid team here at California Science Center does a thing where they call in the paramedics to evaluate. And so they're coming. We obviously know Caleb's fine. We just don't know if he needs stitches or not to heal that gash properly. Okay, just let mommy see it, okay? The ice helped it go down. Yeah, it did. Hey, how you doing? All right? Yeah, <laughs> So I can't tell really how deep it was. He's just now letting me see it more. This is the very first trip out to Disneyland. Kiddo, good job, Caleb. You are so brave, Cubby. Caleb's making jokes through this whole procedure and everyone's just cracking up because he has funny things to say. Did you get an owie? Yeah, so I get a band-aid too, just like Caleb. You got a band-aid too? Yeah, yeah, just like Caleb. So the paramedics were deciding between stitches or super glue, and they decided to put this special super glue on to hold it shut. I thought it would be like super glue. Like what do you mean? Real super glue. Like what makes glue super? Um, well like the normal can you use with sewing. Yeah, like hot glue. Oh no, it's not hot glue, buddy. It's just extra strong glue. Mm-hmm. What did it feel like? It stinged a little. I'm having these. What are those? Oh, fish. Well, we are finally loaded back up in the car after our California Science Center adventure, and we are headed to Anaheim. Are you excited? Yeah, you said you would give me some milkshakes. There's a milkshake. I promised Caleb a milkshake after all he went through today. So here is a Wendy's Frosty for everybody. <laughs> Do you guys like chocolate or vanilla Frosties better? I decided to just order chocolate, so hopefully my family wants chocolate tonight. Do you guys like the ice cream? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'd rather have it vanilla, but I actually really like the chocolate still. Well good, I'm glad you're liking it. How's it going for you? Good. <laughs> How's the back seat? Good. To the hotel. We are now going to the hotel that is next to Disneyland. Do you guys see what this says? It says Disney Way. Woohoo! We're getting close. Share a bed? No, 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 there's another room. And here's the kids' bedroom. There's another room. This is a room. <laughs> Are you excited? This is the nicest hotel oh I've seen. Two mirrors. Me and Two I TVs. There's a table. Yeah. All right, guys. Where are we going tomorrow? Yeah. 
Jeremy, there's cops everywhere. You've got to come see this. I'm so scared right now. But they were yelling like, get down, get down, this is the cops. Eight or nine cops yeah. with their guns aiming directly at someone. There was this immediate fear like you could get hit with a bullet. 